everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now today I'm making a card for my Countdown to Christmas series using this cute little stamp and die set from Jelly Bean Soup. It doesn't have a name, but I did pick it up, I believe, at Michael's. Um, it was pretty inexpensive, and so I thought, well, I'll just make a card with this cute little set today. Um, I liked it because um, it did have a coordinating die. It'll punch. It'll cut out that word joy. And and so we're gonna grab all of our elements here. Today's card is gonna be very very simple, but I think the outcome turned out really pretty. I'm using um, some distressed watercolor cardstock, and I'm gonna cut out a panel here. I'm using a stitched rectangle die, and the panel size is four and three quarters by three and a half. So that's our panel. And then I'm gonna place the whole panel in my mini Misty and stamp the sentiment wishing you peace. And then I'm also gonna stamp the word and, well, it's not really a word, but I'm gonna stamp the and also. <laughs> I'm using some soft granite ink. It's a Hero Hue ink cube, real pretty gray. And since I am stamping on watercolor paper, I had to stamp it a couple times just to get a solid image. And now I'm going to take the and and put it really close to it as I can to that piece. Now once I have that done, I'm going to grab my Versamark ink. And I'm going to go over the sentiment with my Versamark. And now I'm going to go over the wishing you peace. And then we are going to do some embossing. I'm going to use some, this is simply, or no, crystal clear embossing powder by Nouveau. Grab some scratch paper here. And I'm going to go over that sentiment. Now I'm going to watercolor over the sentiment. So this is a great way for me to keep my color and, um, and keep my sentiment looking crisp. So I melted the embossing powder and I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to place it on my clipboard here. Now I'm using some painter's tape to secure it down and I, I kind of went a little overboard. Well, I, <laughs> I guess I didn't really need to secure it that well to this board, but I figured I was going to saturate the paper pretty good. And I, I did this cause I was afraid it was going to warp. And so, I mean, I taped that really good down to my clipboard there. <laughs> now I'm taking, this is Oce Duo Duochrome Oceanic. Daniel Smith watercolor. This is the only one that I purchased and I fell in love with it when I first tried it on a dot palette from Simon Says Stamp. They, Simon Says Stamp has these um, Daniel Smith watercolor sample dot palettes. And so uh, my favorite color in there was this duochrome oceanic because it's a real beautiful blue, but it has a gold tint to it. And I loved it. So I took the plunge, took the investment and I, purchased the tube of this. This is the only one I have. But I just saturated my panel using my paint, uh, my paintbrush and some water. And I'm just, just swishing my paintbrush all over the center of that panel. Very easy to do. Um, any kind of watercolor would work with this. And so um, I'm just kind of drying it a little bit and then daubing off any of the ink off of my sentiment. I want to set the rest of it aside to dry. I really didn't want this panel to warp. Um, these these snowflakes are for my stash. Now I've had these for quite a while and, and I'm sorry I didn't label them so I don't know. They're probably different brands and different companies that made these and I just throw them all on one magnetic sheet. But I cut out six, or five of them. This large one, the center piece actually pops out and I'm gonna lift that up to add some dimension to my snowflakes. But now we're going to work on the second part of our sentiment. I'm taking my anti-static powder tool and a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to stamp the word joy using my Versamark ink. Okay, once we have that done, um, I have this wow embossing powder. It's called, it's Cloud Nine. It's a beautiful iridescent embossing powder. And I believe it came in a Simon Says Stamp kit. Um, love the color on this. It has um, silvers and iridescence to it and so I thought it would add a nice little touch to my my card so I added that to my sentiment and I'm just gonna melt that embossing powder mm. 
Okay, beautiful. Now once we have that done, I'm going to take the, the die that coordinates with the joy and I'm just going to cut it out using my Big Shot. Pretty, I love that shine. Okay, now I'm going to grab the watercolor panel and it's still not dry all the way, but I think it will work. I'm just going to remove my tape. And I, as I was removing it, I thought, I can't believe I put that much tape on that. But it, for me, it kind of helped prevent it from, from warping the paper. Now, what I like to do on any kind of watercolor paper is add fun foam behind it to um, help straighten out any warping that occurred. So I'm just cutting out some fun foam that will fit behind my panel there. And then using some double-sided sticky tape, I'm going to add some... The, um, the fun foam I use is adhesive backed, so I only have to add adhesive to one side. And I want it to be really secure to that panel, so I'm, I'm, I loaded that fun foam up with a double-sided tape. <laughs> okay, now you can see it kind of it helped with any of the warping. I hope we can see that gold iridescent, but it's a gorgeous color. I love that. I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out if you're interested. But I'm going to remove the backing off of my fun foam and I'm going to adhere it to my card base. This is a top folding, a two size card base, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. I just placed that right in the center. Now I'm going to grab all my elements we're going to use to doctor up this panel. Um, I'm going to arrange my snowflakes. I'm just going to put uh, three snowflakes on there, but I'm going to double them up so they have a little bit of dimension. I'm using my multimedia mat to secure the bottom layer to my panel, and then I'm adding some dimensional adhesive to the second layer. I'm going to pop up my word joy with some dimensional adhesive as well, and place that right below the end. I think just that little bit of shimmer adds a lot. But of course, we're going to need some more shimmer. So in my stash, I have some Kennedy Gray sequins. These are Chantilly Cream. Beautiful uh, cream colored sequin with an iridescence to it. And I like these because it picks up any color that's around it. And it's really picking up the blue. If you want to check out close-up pictures too, guys, visit my blog. The lighting on the pictures will be a lot better. But that's it. That's my card today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you this inspires you to break out your snowflake stamps or your watercolors. I wish you a fantastic day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.